Welcome back in this morning, 752. Well, our animals, especially dogs, will eat almost anything. But what can you do if they get something stuck in their throat? Well, for the answer today, we're turning to our experts. Dr. Mark Berkovich is with the Veterinary Specialist of Birmingham and Pet Emergency, and you know our regular guest, Dr. Jerome Williams, Red Mountain Animal Clinic. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good to see both of you. Yes, and Glad welcome to, to Dr. Berkovich to brand Birmingham. Brand new, brand new. Absolutely. You haven't been here long, have you? <laughs> Seven days. <laughs> Seven days, so welcome in this morning. Thank All you right, very much. so when we talk about animals getting something stuck in their throat, particularly dogs, what are we alluding to here? Uh, it can be anything. So mm -hmm. I've seen corn dogs, fish hooks, zippers. So they're just uh -huh. trying to eat them because they eat so fast? Uh, they'll eat fast or they'll eat things they're not supposed to. Uh -huh. uh, and they won't go down all the way. So then usually if it gets stuck in their esophagus or their throat area, there'll be multiple swallowing attempts. They may oh. be a little painful in swallowing. So is it cut, does, can it cut off the air sometimes? or If it's big enough, usually not. They may okay. look like they're gasping for air because okay. the two tubes are sort of next to each other. Right. <laughs> and so he's laughing because if when we come back here in the studio, the, his dog that he brought today is a is a little excited yeah, happy to be with yeah, us. Yeah, Jay is a little excited yeah. today. But one of the things that we see most often in puppies, I believe, Dr. Berkowitz, is they investigate with their mouths. Yes. So, you know, like babies. So and they're very curious. Yeah, they put it in the mouth. And many times, inadvertently, next thing you know, they'll swallow it. Doesn't matter what it is. All right, so how, what, so what's our advice for viewers who may be watching right now? Uh, one, to be safe. The dogs can't open up cabinets. If they're tall dogs, they can certainly counter surf and get things. So especially if they're puppies or they're a dog that's prone to eating foreign things, they mm -hmm. tend to be repeat offenders. Uh, so you just have to outsmart them. Lots of dogs will eat socks, but again, if you keep them in a closet or keep them mm -hmm. in a hamper and it's closed, they can't get to them. Dogs do love to play with socks and yes. chew on them. Some of the things you're looking at there, these could be some of the symptoms, um, and you may not even know that they had swallowed something, so you're trying to figure out why they're doing the gagging or the exaggerated swallowing, right? Correct, correct. And oftentimes, not everything will show up on an x-ray, but most of the time things will show up on a, on a radiograph. So if it continues for a short period of time, you should take them in? Correct, especially if it's in the esophagus, because the longer something sits there, the more risk there is for damage to the esophagus, and then that okay. can lead to strictures. So uh, especially if there's any concern, it's better to investigate early. Now, Doctor, I, I, I know that x-ray is not going to show up everything, but I believe you do scoping as correct, well, correct, where you can do a, a scope and mm -hmm. stick it right. down the throat so and actually see what's in there. Correct, and okay. take it out. All right. All right, Dr. Berkovich, thank you so much. You're Dr. Welcome. Williams, thank always you. good to see you. Yes, it's good to be here. And, and Jay, settle down. Needs to go down, run a little bit, down. I think. All right, let's. <laughs>